hey guys welcome back to my channel ag motion designs and in today's video we are going to create this creative text animation inside of after effects without using any third party plugin so if you are new to this channel then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates so without wasting any more time let's get started So here we are in Adobe After Effects. Let's create a new composition. I'll call it as Main Animation. Width is 1920 and height is 180. Frame rate is 30 second long. And duration I'm going to choose 30 second only. And background color let's choose black color and simply hit OK. Then go to choose Grid and Guide option and hit on Title Selection. Then press Ctrl N to create another composition. I'll call it as Text One. And height I'm going to choose 150 and simply hit ok so we'll get this kind of comp now select your text tool and type whatever text you want i'm going to type motion uh, and let's delete this stroke and we will choose white color for this text and make sure to all of them are in caps and let's type our first text which is motion let's select this text press ctrl alt home to align that anchor point to the center go to the align tab align it horizontally and then align it vertically press s for scaling option and scale it at appropriate size like this now select this text and move this over here hit ctrl d and let's move this text over here and let's try to adjust the position of both of them select this text and type our next text which is design okay and let's try to adjust the position so yep our text animation i mean text is ready now we do need to animate those text okay so let's select both the text and press p for position let's create one keyframe go to around 1.10 frames and create another keyframe and go to the start select this motion text let's move this over here select this design text and let's move this over here select both the keyframes hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph and by holding shift move this handle over here select this and move this handle over here so if you hit play you will get something like this now let's select our rectangle tool and we will choose one fill color uh, let's do one thing i'm going to delete this gradient over here we don't want that let's delete the stroke we don't want that either and choose uh, any color for the fill and let's create one shape layer like this okay select the shape layer and hit enter and let's name it as mask select this design text press f4 and choose alpha mask select this mask earlier hit ctrl d bring this over here select this text and choose alpha mask again so if you see this thing now we will get this kind of animation let's select this press p and let's move this over here like this okay so this is our first text animation now select this text one comp and hit ctrl d to duplicate it and double click to open it hit u go to the last keyframe and let's delete those keyframe now go to the start and create one keyframe at position go to 1.10 and create another keyframe go to the start and let's bring both the text downwards select those keyframe hit f9 like this okay go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift move this handle over here okay select this text to hit ctrl d double click to open this and this time because it's coming from downwards i'll select both of them and i'll move them upwards so we'll get this animation and now we need to make a reversible animation so let's go to the text one first hit u and after this animation or somewhere around let's say three seconds maybe select both the text and create one keyframe go to around 4.10 frames maybe like this select this motion text press v let's move this upwards select this design text let's move this downwards select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph by holding shift i'll move this handle over here so if you hit play you will get this kind of animation same thing we will follow for this text too also We'll go to the three seconds. We will create one keyframe. It go to the four uh, uh, frame, four point ten frames. Select both the text, and because in this animation it's coming from downwards, so at the end it will go upwards. Select those keyframe. Hit F nine. Go to the graph editor. Select this graph. 
holding shift move this handle over here and same procedure we will follow for this text to 3 only create one keyframe over here and let's bring this downwards <coughs> select those keyframe hit f9 go to the graph editor select this graph uh, let's move this handle over here like this okay so now uh, each and every animation is ready so let's go to the main animation comp and we will bring our text to one over here so if you hit play we will get this kind of animation first like this now select this text and hit ctrl d to duplicate it press v and let's move this over here somewhere around over here select this uh, rectangle and we will create one mask on it like this let's make this full solution select this text hit ctrl d press v and let's move this over here and we will select this um, two mask and we will move them over here then select this upper most mask and let's bring this over here select this text press p and adjust the position like this select this text one and make sure to select this mask uh, upper points and let's try to move them over here okay so if we see this animation we will get something like this okay now select this two layers and let's change the color of this one to yellow and hit ctrl d and let's bring them downwards now this is uh, uh, or let's select this one let's move this downwards uh, let's uh, select uh, both of them press m and let's delete their mask individually let's hide this first so we can focus on this one only so let's move this over here or let's delete this one we don't need that select this one uh, somewhere around over here we will select our rectangle selection tool and we will create one mask around over here like this now select this hit ctrl d press v and let's move this over here select this and this and let's move this over here let's bring this downwards select this mask and adjust it like this okay so if you see this thing now we will get something like this now i'll select this text too and i'll select both the uppermost layers and by holding alt i'm going to replace it with this select those and select x3 and by holding alt i'm going to replace it with this okay so after doing that if you see our animation we will get something like this okay so let's make this fit and let's select all of these compositions and press ctrl shift c and we will call it as text animation and hit ok like this press s for scaling option and scale it at appropriate size select this text and hit ctrl d to duplicate it uh, hit ctrl d a uh, few, few times and we will create this kind of duplicates and select this fifth layer and go to the effect and presets panel and we will search for fill effect and double click to apply apply this red color select this fourth layer apply the fill effect and we will choose green color select this third effect apply fill and choose <coughs> blue color like this and select this second layer and apply find edge effect on it like this and invert this and hit uh, uh, zoom in a little bit hit page down button two times select this move this over here move this over here move this over here and move this over here so now if you see this animation we will get something like this okay and select all of the last third layers only and change the screen blending mode to screen so if you see this animation now you will get this and then you will get this okay then select all of them and press ctrl shift c and let's call it as final text animation and hit ok press f4 and make sure to enable this icon so you will get that uh, effect over here and hit ctrl d press s unlink this and let's make this minus 100 like this press p for position and let's bring this downwards like this okay 
and now select your rectangle selection tool and we will create one mask on it go to the mask one and increase the feathers like this press t for opacity and decrease the opacity okay press ctrl n to create another composition and let's call it as fractal noise and uh, width is 1920 height is 180 and hit ok press ctrl y and let's apply fractal noise effect increase the contrast and decrease the brightness go to the main animation hit ctrl 0 and bring this fractal noise layer over here let's hide this select this first layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for <coughs> compound blur effect and choose that fractal noise layer over here so you will get this fractals over here let's go inside this fractal noise go to the transform unlink this uniform scaling and increase the scale width up to let's say thousand or even more than that and let's decrease the height like this so if you see over here we will get this kind of structure like this now right click new and create one adjustment layer go to the effect and presets panel and search for glow effect and double click to apply increase the glow radius to let's say 100 and increase the glow threshold to 98 and glow intensity 2.5 like this okay so we will get this kind of animation now right click new and create one null object select all of these layers and let's make it parent with this null one select this null one press p for position alt click on the stopwatch apply vehicle 3 comma 3 so along with this text animation we will get a little bit of wiggly effect also and if you want then you can go to the fractal noise effect you can alt click on this evolution tab and type time into 400 so you will get this evolution animation over here so you will get that animation over here also like this but it's totally depend on you if you don't want that you are free to skip that step so yep this is how you can create this kind of text animations inside of half effects so i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial and if you like this tutorial then please consider to subscribe this channel and also hit the bell icon to get more updates and if you want to create some more interesting animations like this then check out these two videos i'll see you in my next video until then stay tuned